After whipping up a delicious Hawaiian breakfast for the entire family, we all got into our swimming suits and hit the road for an epic family ocean adventure. We ended up driving almost an hour across the island from the town of Kailua, where we've been staying, all the way over to the big city of Honolulu. Our first stop of the day was the city harbor, where we had arranged for a private boat to come and pick us up. Once we had all boarded, we set sail on the calm Hawaiian waters. We couldn't have asked for more perfect weather. The sun was shining, the waters were peaceful, and the sea breeze was as refreshing as ever. After navigating through the harbor, we soon made it out to sea. Even Sushi the dog was having a fun time riding on the boat. At 20 minutes of boating though, the waters got a bit rough for the sea pup, so we followed her lead and all retreated back to the middle of the boat for the rest of the ride. Lucky for us though, before we knew it, we were approaching our final destination a hidden coral reef right off the coast of Waikiki Beach. The most special part though, this reef is the favorite feeding spot of the residential Hawaiian green sea turtles. What's even more amazing is how close it was to the mainland, only a quick 30 minute boat ride from Honolulu Harbor. As soon as we pulled up to the reef, Sushi the dog started getting really excited. And that's when we spotted the first of many sea turtles in the water. With the anchor secured, we all started getting ready to jump in the water and dive with turtles. Hey Beth, you see this turtle over here? Wow. My first descent into the water was not as graceful as I would have liked though. But hey, at least it worked, and less than a minute later, I spotted my first turtle in the water. Everywhere we looked, there were more and more turtles. Sometimes entire herds of them would be swimming and feeding together.
The coral reefs were everywhere and so alive with every tropical fish you could imagine. It's easy to see why the turtles love it here so much. The water was so warm that I could have swam out there all day long. Because of the tropical climate near the equator, the water is always around 28 degrees Celsius, which in my opinion is the perfect temperature for swimming. And the sea turtles seem to agree with me. After a quick break, it was time for swimming with the sea turtles round two. Dog was barking at me. Give me yeah. a thumbs up. There's also a pufferfish. Because we only had two hours with the turtles before the boat was scheduled to return to land, we had to make every second count. Especially because this was my first time ever swimming with wild sea turtles. Don't touch the turtles, give them at least two arm lengths, six feet clearance. There's about 20 to 25 of them out. The sea turtles were everywhere, eating algae and seagrass off of the coral reef. While they're able to hold their breath for up to 45 minutes, they kept resurfacing every four to five minutes or so. The turtle, oh, turtle. Oh. All too quickly though, our time was up and it was time to reboard the boat and head back to shore. That was so cool. There was a family of them, a male, a female, and a baby. The ride back to the city was very gorgeous. We hung out on the front of the catamaran, dangling our feet over the waves and watching the beautiful Honolulu skyline get closer and closer. And just like that, we were back in the big city after an amazing afternoon at sea. Once we had gotten back home, I was still in a swimming mood, so I decided to hop into our private pool. Well, we have our own private pool and I'm about to go take a dip. It's a very nice private pool. I like to come and swim here after a full day of hiking. And of course, no pool day would be complete without soaking up some sun. Just chilling by the pool. Lucky for me though, it wasn't long before the rest of the family decided to join in the fun. After our 
first swimming sesh, it was barbecue time. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty. We had burgers, hot dogs, corn on the cob, and enough fruit and snacks to go around. The next day, we packed up for another snorkeling adventure. We're going to the Hanuma Bay to do some snorkeling. Tell the camera that you're happy to go snorkeling today. Happy to go snorkeling? Mayhaps I am. Say cowabunga. <laughs> cowabunga, my dude. Okay, cool. You did the thing. Alola. Yeah, the shaka bra. Aloha? Alola. You're not Hawaiian. That's it's, for sure. Uh, Alolan, actually. Like Christopher Alolan? No, like from Pokemon. <laughs> Is that accurate? Yes, yes, but I hate it. He's oh trying to get gosh. me to say it. It's the Alolan region. It's the Interesting. seventh generation, I think. You're my favorite brother again. After some mild shenanigans, we were on our way to the Haname Bay Nature Preserve. to drive along one of the most beautiful coastal highways I've ever seen. Once we had passed the park security and scored one of the limited parking spaces in the reserve, we started exploring some of the lookouts around the beach. There were tons of hidden trails around the parking lot that led to tons of different views of the beach, island, and ocean. at the park super early to get a parking spot and as a bonus we had a lot of free time to check out all the different scenic lookouts. There was even a little cafe by the entrance and a bunch of wild birds to entertain us. The water was unbelievably crystal clear. You could see right down at the coral reef, even from on top of the mountain. Alola. Alola. Where are we? The Alolan region. Are oh, you're really? recording. Yes. I was posing for a photo. Oh my gosh, you photo poser. <laughs> you're silly. But we're going to snorkel down there, correct? Maybe. Yes. Okay. And then like we'll it. see all the fish in all of their wonderful wet glory. You're weird. I like it. I love this energy. Bring it to the ocean. The is ocean water, needs it. Is water wet? I guess we'll find out. The answer to that question. Mom, do you know if water's wet? No, it is not. Because it's water. Oh wow, we have a debate Here's going on. Here's my professional opinion. Okay. Water is not wet by itself, but in every instance of water that we encounter in our lives, it is wet. True. Because the definition of something being wet is, is that water there. is on it. And like the ocean, there's a bunch of water touching each other to make a big water. So any water we see is wet, Thank but you. water by itself is not wet. Thank you, Bill Nye, yeah. the science guy. You need at least two water to make it wet. Yeah. After a riveting philosophical debate on the nature of water, we boarded a complimentary trolley that took us straight down the mountain to the beach. There surprisingly weren't any huge crowds on the beach like I expected. In fact, it was one of the chiller beaches we visited in Hawaii. But the best part ever was spotting a sleeping monk seal that had washed ashore on the beach. Mom, give me some blood. And just chilling. 
Arden died an hour ago. <laughs> and Dad is, as usual, nowhere to be found, and he's going to the bathroom. There he is. <laughs> as usual, Dad. Dad left us. We're at the beach. Hello, beach. Beach. Let's go to Hey, hey. There is Father. After we had set up our little beach encampment, the entire family put on snorkel gear and ran straight for the water. The water was actually super shallow and rarely got so deep that you couldn't touch the bottom, which happened to be perfect for my little brother Andrew who needed to learn how to snorkel for the first time ever. Lucky for him though, he had mom showing him the ropes. You're getting it! You're doing it! If the monk seal can do it, so can you! Next, it was my turn. Yeah. Okay. Hey, have fun. Okay. What's happening? After my first snorkel trip, I resurfaced for a little break and to say hi to the monk seal. so much swimming though we were all getting pretty hungry so we decided to chow down on our beach picnic they're all mine they're all my sandwich <laughs> give me my sandwich mm. what's yours different it has no mustard it has no mustard <laughs> wow what a picky eater <laughs> Break, it was time for round two of snorkeling.
After an amazing final round of snorkeling, it was getting close to 4 p.m. and closing time for the park. So we packed up our supplies and started making our way home, but not before stopping at some more scenic lookouts along the way. The drive back home was as lovely as always and reminded me just how amazing Hawaii can be. Thanks for watching everybody and be sure to subscribe and stick around for next week's Hawaiian adventure.